So, hello guys, this will, will be a video about the yoke movement when doing a takeoff, the dead band uh, and uh, the yoke movement in the first and second turn of, uh, of the, this flight. So, really early in the flight I will put on autopilot and autopilot will uh, fly through the, through the turns. And then, and there is no weather in this level D uh, on at this time in the level D simulator. So it's just plain how the yoke moves with the autopilot on into a turn, out from a turn, uh, how much back pressure you will need in a turn if the plane is fairly good uh, trimmed uh, from the beginning. The, the aircraft is about 60 tons and 20 something in center of gravity so yeah here we go so first of all uh first of all release br release parking brakes and we go directly to n1 i think so a little forward pressure with the yoke so i keep pressure on the nose gear and uh, my captain friend gives me instructions on how I, how I should do things now we immediately go to n1 and there he shows me how much front how much pressure i should have on the on the the yoke so always when you do a start, you put the elevator forward to have some back pressure, uh, to have some pressure on the nose gear. And uh, this pressure is, um, and you then release the, the controls back to neutral uh, when you are at 80 knots. And you can see that I did that. So. A bit of pressure, a bit of pressure and, uh, forward, and he shows me there how much pressure I should have. Then we are 80 knots, and I neutral yoke, and uh, you can also see how much, much I have to move the controls back to to do a takeoff. Very much, very much, and he gives me give me a hand there, but the plane. Yeah. So very easy to do this, and you can see that that uh, the first thing you can see also when I get the nose up uh, and I get uh, the nose up, I don't have to do much much input. But uh, I when I when I when the nose is pointing in the correct pitch up altitude. I don't have to trim down, trim up, and thing. The speed goes up, so that's why the elevator downforce is increasing, and that's why the trim wheel here is trimming forward uh, to have the same. And it's called speed trim. So when the speed increases, you should not have to to trim the plane. Uh, you should. Yeah, the, the the plane should be fairly neutral uh, and uh, in pitch and uh, in pitch, so that's called speed trim. So if we we continue, you we can see that I've set autopilot to on, and uh, we will see w and the, the 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 controls are fairly neutral, uh, centered if you will. So it has about. 20 centimeters it can go back and 20 centimeters it can go for, forward. Uh, you of course measure this in degrees, but according to my calculations, about 40 centimeters. I think it's 41 or 43 or something, but but about 40 centimeters. And you can also see that, yeah, this is about one and a half, two centimeters. So we can see in the first turn here that the yoke will only go backward a uh, uh, few centimeters. 
uh, and that's all the back pressure that is needed in the turn and basically no aileron input after we have established the 30 degree turn uh, there will be neutral ailerons uh, and that's how it should should work so let's go now the autopilot is controlling the plane the gear so we put flaps up and immediately the autopilot put some back pressure on but when the speed goes up put the controls back and it trims the plane so now it's basically neutral if i would uh, if I uh, disengage autopilot in this stage, nose would not go down or up particularly much. And this is just 2,200 feet above ground. Uh, so, oh, 2,200 radio altitude, 1,670 feet. So, even before the first turn, I have this altitude. That means that, and I have 3,500 incline rate. So it's with 60 tons, it, it climbs very well. And there you can see, we do that again. In the turn, before the turn. It puts some back pressure in and turn. So before the turn, before we even have started the turn, the autopilot pushes back. So we can see we have 3,500 feet, uh, uh, 3,500 feet a minute. Uh, no. 3,350 feet uh, a minute uh, uh, there and just before we are turning the autopilot you see one two centimeters of back pressure before the turn and then it start turning start turning so it increases by 100 feet in this circumstance, in this situation. Uh, 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 by 100 feet a minute or 50 feet a minute with one, two, three centimeters of back pressure. This does the autopilot and then it starts turning. You can see it is around here 30, 40 degree, not more than 30, 40 degree of aileron input to begin the turn. We have it about, I, I would see, say maximum 40, maximum 40 degree of, uh, of uh, movement of the joke. And some back pressure, one centimeter, two centimeters of back pressure. So it did two things here. It increased the elevator before the turn. And it also uh, increased the elevator when in the turn. So now we are at about 30 degrees. You can see that on the PFT. We are on, uh, at 30 degrees. Uh, uh, of the uh, bank and the yoke is now centered and only back pressure one two I would say two to three centimeters of back pressure in the turn two to three it even put the nose forward a little to keep the speed so of course, blocking the view. <laughs> and then it's very slow to uh, start to turn out from the from the 
bank. And we will see how much it uses to, to go out from this 30 degree bank. We will also see if the, it uses the same amount of movement, the same amount of aileron input when going out from the turn compared to going into the turn. So, maybe I was mi misjudged. Yeah, I misjudged. I said 40. I meant 20. So it uses about 20 degree uh, of uh, aileron input when going out from the turn. You can also see that just before going out from the turn, it moves the yoke forward. So we let's see that again. So just before it's turning. In the turn, it's it's moving forward, and then we have 20 to go straight, and very little movement. What what you notice is very little movement of elevator. So it is basically a speed trim that does most of the elevator in input not much uh, elevator input in the turn by the autopilot. And why is this important? Yeah, it, it gives a feeling of stability of the aircraft. I don't, I don't think it's called longitudinal stability, it's called lateral stability, I think. Uh, so now it's neutral. He goes to flight freeze there, so I have to... So, position freeze, simulator. So now it's going into the turn, about 20% 20, 20 in this shallower turn. That's because the, the speed has increased also. But 20, 20-30% aileron uh, input in the turn and a bit of back pressure but not much it's i would say less than a centimeter in this case so when the speed has gone up to 210 knots less than a centimeter of ele uh, elevator input in the turn this is basically what i wanted to show you how little input it is it's, it's needed both by aileron and elevator in a turn. Level D simulator. And it's fairly close to the real thing and the real number. So if it's a few... So it's, if it's a little bit different, but, but basically it's the same.